Governor Chris Christie held his 35th town hall meeting today in New Hampshire in the wake of the Paris attacks. Today's discussion focused mainly on defeating ISIS. Republican presidential candidate Chris Christie entered a packed room inside Jonathan's Lounge at Park Place Lanes. Christie's second town hall this weekend, and it kicked off with an endorsement from former state senator Bob Letourneau. He's the right man for this job. Christie started off the event by addressing the recent attacks in Paris. Paris was an intelligence failure, everybody. They were planning that thing for a while and over multiple countries, and no one caught them beforehand. During the town hall, Christie was questioned about what he would do to fight and put an end to the Islamic State, known as ISIS. The borders have to be secure, so don't worry about ISIS operatives coming across porous borders. Second, got to enhance our intelligence capability. Third, we've got to make sure that we get with our allies in the Middle East and let them understand that we're going to stand with them in this fight against ISIS. Christie has said he would not allow Syrian refugees to come to the United States. While many at the town hall say national security should be a top priority, this man doesn't agree. But Christie says there's no other way. If we let people in who we cannot effectively vet, then we are putting at risk your life and his and his and his. And as President of the United States, my first job is to protect your life and his and his and his. Christie defended his decision based on his personal experience of September 11, 2001. My number one priority as a leader in this country is to make sure that there is not another generation of widows and orphans created because of a terrorist attack on the American homeland. Christie ended his day at the Granite State Baseball Dinner. Tomorrow, he will attend a house party in Bedford. Reporting in Windham, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.